Hello guys, Keith Bright on TV here, back for yet another video. Before we get into today's video, let's see if we can hit 100 likes, and as well if you haven't dropped a sub, make sure to smash that subscribe button. I just want to wish you all a happy Easter. Hopefully you have a great couple of days. Um, of course, it's the holidays, well in the UK anyway. I don't know about any other part of the world, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy it. Um, so we're going to be talking about Simon Jordan in today's video, in today's video and what he had to say about the appointment of Gary Rout. Now, of course, Simon Jordan, well known. He's probably like the most watched person on talk sports. Like some of his clips, some of his debates have like over a million views. Um, so yeah, um, Simon Jordan makes Gary Rout points, but takes aim at Birmingham City decision. So this is what he had to say. We're going to be diving into it. So Simon Jordan believes that Gary Rout has made himself a more rounded and balanced manager in the inter intervening period um, since he left the club in, 2000, in December 2016. Um, well, hang on. He, he's made himself a more rounded and balanced manager. Um, that's interesting. Um, this is... Uh, hang on, let me just get... Some, Bear with me for a minute. Um, it's undoubtedly been a turbulent first campaign for new owners Knighthead and appointed CEO Gary Cook. Things are accelerating away from the football pitch, but it's, uh, it's on it. The story unfolding has proven to be regrettably similar uh, one, as has been the case on a number of occasions in the last 10 years. Um, Simon Jordan agrees that in Raul, uh, Blues have appointed a figure who has more about him, even than... Um, even than he did during his first spell at St Andrews when he believed, despite the job Rabbit was doing, that the second of the managers um the sac that the second was one of the managers own making. He does though accept expect Rabbit to extract enough out of the existing squad to avoid relegation. So, so Simon Jordan expects Gary Rabbit to keep us up um this season. And I do as well. I do think Gary Rao will keep us up. It would be very, very close. It's gonna be a struggle. It's, there's gonna be a lot of moments where we're in and out of the bottom three. But I do think we'll get over the line just about we're literally gonna be scraping it. It's going down to it's probably going down to the final game. Um and yeah it, yeah this is him just talking about his yeah, of course he was the former he's a former Crystal Palace owner as well. Um he was asked, um, is this the worst first year of a new ownership? And we're not going to get into what he had to say about Crystal Palace there. Um, what he had to, this is what he had to say about um, John Eustace. Um, they might not have got into the top six and they were, there were rumblings about the style of football that John Eustace was producing and they were, they were mentioned that uh, they'd been been in, in decline for the previous uh, weeks. Now I agree with most of what Simon Jordan has to say about Birmingham City Football Club anyway, but I think sacking Eustace, I will still stick to it. I thought that was the right decision. Obviously it's not turned out to be. Um, the appointment of Wayne Rooney was absolutely catastrophic. If we would have sacked John Eustace and appointed Tony Mowbray um, straight after, let's say, let's say, if he wasn't, let's say, you know, let's play that. If he wasn't the Sunderland boss, if he was out of a job, then and, he, and then we appointed Tony Mowbray. I thought I think we would be in a much better position um, if we did it early, but obviously we couldn't. Um, they got what they deserved. They went for uh, they went after an autograph. Yes, the appointment of Wayne Rooney. I do agree with Simon Jordan here. It it seemed to be like the appointment of Wayne Rooney. They wanted it. They wanted Birmingham City Football Club to get out there more. It didn't seem like a footballing decision, did it really? I mean, yeah, and it, it did actually work. I mean, it got a lot, of, like, a lot of people talking about Birmingham City Football Club. Um, we appeared on Sky Sports uh, a lot of times, Talk Sport uh, as well. Um, he wasn't fired because, uh, yeah, we're not going to be talking about Wayne Rooney. Um, yeah, so. Let me know what you think. The article is on the uh, but it's on Birmingham um, Mail. Birmingham Mail. And do you think? Or do you agree with Simon Jordan that Birmingham City will stay up under Gary Rowett? Of course, there's seven games left or so. 
of uh, the season. We've got a massive home game against Preston North End tomorrow. It'll be Gary Rowett's first home game back at St Andrews. Of course, the last time he had, well, the first his first game as Blues manager at St Andrews was um, all the way back in 2014 where we did actually beat Watford who were currently, I think that was second in the league as well but yeah let me know what you think in the comments down below like I said it's been Keeper on TV make sure to like share and also subscribe to the channel let's see if you can watch your likes thanks so much as always guys keep on time